this is about the survival of the human race, a sign of the times, an analysis and a commentary. Mars Curiosity Rover finds signs of ancient habitable environment. Powder drilled out of a rock on Mars contains the best evidence yet that the red planet could, would, should have supported life billions of years ago. The team behind NASA's Curiosity Rover has said, the findings are in line with what the scientists hoped to find when they sent the one-ton, six-wheeled laboratory to Mars' Gale Crater. It wasn't serendipity that got us here. It was the result of planning. Caltech's John Grotzinger, the mission's project scientist, told reporters at NASA headquarters. Serendipity did, however, play a part in being able to find the evidence so soon. Actually, it's much more than all that. Curiosity's handlers had planned ahead for the mountain in the middle of the crater, but, but once the rover landed, the science team decided to take a detour to a geologically interesting area in the opposite direction. And so they say, several billion years ago, Mars may well have been a pleasant place for tiny microbes to live, with plenty of water as well as minerals that could have served as food. But they have yet to find signs that actual microbes did live in that oasis. We have found a habitable environment that is so benign and supportive of life that probably if this water was around and you had been on the planet, you would have been able to drink it, said Grotzinger. And drilling into its first rock, a fine-grained mudstone, the scientist said, the rover Curiosity sent back to Earth convincing evidence that Mars was once awash in water. Plus, the Curiosity scientist identified elements in the rocks, sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and carbon that are some of the key ingredients of life, as well as minerals like sulfates and sulfides that primitive microbes could eat for food. He also added that these minerals are effectively like batteries and could provide an energy source for life. This included the presence of clays, one of the main things that scientists were hoping that Curiosity would find on its two-year, $2.5 billion mission. Clays form in waters that have a neutral pH. What we have learned in the last 20 years of modern microbiology is that very primitive organisms, they can derive energy just by feeding on rocks. He said, even so, the Curiosity scientists said they had not yet definitively found the carbon building blocks needed to come together to give rise to living organisms. Two earlier NASA rovers, Spirit and Opportunity, also found strong evidence of liquid water on the Martian surface, but in places on the planet that were highly acidic and salty, far harsher for any hypothetical organisms. Curiosity landed in August in a 96-mile crater named Gale, gouged long ago by a meteor. The scientists and engineers have been taking a deliberate, careful approach to checking the rover's systems. The surface of Mars today is cold, dry, and battered by radiation from space. But planetary scientists think young Mars, more than three billion years ago, was a far more hospitable place with a thicker atmosphere, warmer weather, and water flowing at the surface. Some scientists believe that if life ever took hold there, it might persist even today beneath the surface. Curiosity is not carrying any instruments that can detect Martian life, past or present, but it can identify so-called organic molecules which contain carbon and hydrogen atoms. 
the presence of organic molecules would not prove the presence of life since many non-living chemical reactions can produce organic molecules but organic molecules are necessary for life at least life as we know it so far the curiosity scientists cannot say that the rock contained organics but neither can they rule out the possibility rather since their instruments did measure some simple organics the researchers are sorting out whether the organics came from the Martian rock from contamination brought from earth or were formed in chemical reactions as the rock powder was heated still the scientists are excited by the possibilities but the answers will take a while to discern in other words Mars past present and future are all connected in some kind of way and Mars is a part of the future of mankind this too is another sign of the end of times as we know them transition days which is a time of extraordinary happenings changes and events because again it's about what kind of world or worlds are we leaving to the future generations and that should be a very important question to ask Genesis chapter 1 in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth two and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters three and God said let there be light and there was light four and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness five and God called the light day and the darkness he called night and the evening and the morning were the first day six and God said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters seven and God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament on the waters which were above the firmament and it was so eight and God called the firmament heaven and the evening and the morning were the second day nine and God said let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so ten and God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called he seas and God saw that it was good and all these are more signs of the times everything is connected and everything is numbered this is the way it is